you guess who's our guest tonight? Get an A on the test tonight. You can say you're the best tonight if you've guessed who. Here's the top of a photograph. Here's a peek at the lower half. Now a shot that'll make you laugh. Have you? I'm Agatha Richards. And I'm Ed Rambeau, and welcome to Guest Who. Each week we'll give you clues to our surprise guest, and you can see if you guessed who. Uh, Agatha, you know, I, I hate to say this, but uh, we got a problem. Ed, are you trying to tell me that our surprise guest is a problem? No, uh, that's not the kind of problem I'm talking about. You mean our guest didn't show up? Mm, well, I mean, due to a computer casting error, some other guest showed up. Uh, too many other guests. Oh, no, you mean Barbara Streisand isn't going to be here? Yes, I mean, we have her music and everything. Oh, she's here, she's here, we, but so was Liza Minnelli. Oh, no, she wasn't scheduled till next week. <sighs> and we're also stuck with Dinah Shore and Jaja. Oh, my gosh, they don't even like each other. And then there's Betty Davis and Lena Horne and Butterfly McQueen. Oh, boy, there goes our April lineup. <sighs> well, that's your problem, Agatha. My problem? Well, what do you mean, my problem? You're going to have to decide who stays and who goes. I mean, is it uh, Patty Page or uh, Edie Gourmet, Marlena Dietrich or Jackie Mason? I mean, they're all here. You know, he always does this to me. Listen, I need, Ed, I need a minute uh, to decide what we're going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay tuned while we give Ag Agatha a minute, and you can see if you've guessed who Agatha picks. Let's go decide. I don't know how this happened. I really don't understand. Well, uh, blah, blah. <laughs> well, did you decide? I mean, who, who are we going to keep tonight? I mean, we, we have all these ladies and, the, and a couple of guys. I mean... Oh, well, I, I'm still going to surprise you, Ed. You are? Yeah, I'm going to surprise you. In fact, you're about to hear the voice of a writer, an actress, a comedian, an impressionist. Did I say that right? An impressionist. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> I'm you're getting better. English language. <laughs> and without a doubt, one of the great singers in the world today. Ladies and gentlemen, we're honored to present the very versatile and extraordinary Miss Marilyn Michaels. Boy. Marilyn, Boy. hi, welcome. Well, I nice don't know what to say except yeah. to go into another character, Dad. You know that you was that wonderful. <laughs> that, that was terrific. Thank you very much. Well, yeah. you're well. You deserve it. You're very talented. Well, thank you very much. I, I mean, well, let's quit now. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want to congratulate you. I think I'm probably the most talented thing you've ever done. It's a little oh. more kissing. The most creative thing I've ever done. Yes. Oh, oh, I have this little baby the, boy. Little baby. Uh, he's magnificent. He's very beautiful. If I do say so myself, uh -huh. I sound just like a mother, right? Uh -huh. But he's quite gorgeous. Oh, and great. it's a great thrill. How old is he now? He's two months old today. Two months? Today, yeah. yeah. And he's, he's very beautiful. Yeah. It's you know, exciting. When we were first starting off here, and we were just sitting here before we started off, uh, you seem to be just so relaxed about whatever mood you were in or what we were talking about. You come up with some kind of voice or character that fit it. Um, are you just comfortable doing that? Is it just no? A natural I thing? just do it out of fear. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. You like the little kid in school who? Well, I just you know I come out with these things because it's I guess it's part of my part of my nature. I think that. Um, that comedians and actresses and and people like me do have a tendency to hide behind characters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think that's probably. Did you always do yeah. it from a little kid up, or when did it start? Um, uh, last week I started to do this <laughs> at a fantastic pace. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. When I was little, I I always listen. I had this ear that was able to catch the sounds, uh -huh. and I would be doing impressions of, and I guess this will date me a bit of, of uh, Teresa Brewer and Patty Page who were my first. Oh, um, yes. They were your first. Yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, Sarah Vaughan and people like that. And I would hear these sounds and I... 
Hey, we are so fun. <laughs> anyway, I would catch these different boys. Oh, ah, wonderful. And I would get them. I feel like I was waltzing with my darling oh, to the Tennessee. You know, Patty Page just do this with <laughs> the You close your eyes and you're right yeah. there. Yeah. So I would pick up these voices and then I'd do them. But you also and it was so like... cute. Isn't she cute? Oh, the little girl is adorable. Look at look <laughs> look at those voices. <laughs> she does the do pit Teresa Rohr, honey. Oh God, isn't she darling? <laughs> You know, I got all uh -huh. this attention. Uh, your parents in showbiz? My parents, yes, absolutely. Uh -huh. Your mother was uh, was. My mother she could is have been still. A great cantor, right? Oh, yes, she that's decided right. To, uh... My mother is Fredel Oyscher, and she was uh, quite a star of the Yiddish theater, and she's still really very active. Yeah. And your uncle is and uncle commercials. Was Moisha, Moisha Oyscher. My uncle was Moisha Oyscher, the cantor, yeah. Uh -huh. And I sang with my uncle when I was about. 14 in the choir when my father was the choir conductor and my uncle was the cantor and I was the soloist yeah. and then I worked with my mother uh, in the Yiddish stage and in uh, vaudeville like the tail end the tail. so you were literally born in the trunk in the princess in Thank really you. Does. I knew I liked you, young girl. Yeah, yes, you're a fine girl. Who are you? I don't know. <laughs> do I sing opera? No, do you sing opera? Yeah. Well, I sing a little, a little bit of opera. I do because my dad, being at the Met all those years, you know. Oh yeah, your dad. My fa my father wanted me to sing opera, and my mother wanted me to sing popular music. Uh -huh. She figured that singing pop and singing, you know, with contemporary music was more lucrative than singing you know, soprano, mm -hmm. whatever. Uh -huh. My parents were uh, very friendly with, with uh, Roberta Peters and Jan Pierce and Richard Tucker and all these, these operatic people. And um, there was a story that my father tells about Roberta having done the Ed Sullivan show and getting uh, X amount of dollars and Teresa Brewer, as a matter of fact, doing the same show and getting double or triple the amount, uh. where it took Roberta years of study to become a coloratura soprano. Mm -hmm. So that sort of determined my fa my parents deciding uh. that I would not <laughs> sing. <laughs> my parents. Right. But my, my preference was, and although I love opera and I have a great education in classical music, but that my preference is, uh, is contemporary music and is theater show music in Harold Arlen and Cole Porter and Julie Stein and on and on. Yeah. You don't really like doing for the voices. You, you say you do them. When I asked you a question, I said, why do you do them? And you say, because I can. But you would really prefer to create your own characters. Well, I do. I do all of that, mm -hmm. you know? Partly the impressions. They're impressions because you happen to know the people. Mm -hmm. right. So they're very identifiable. You right. know who I'm doing. But all of us have the ability to do impressions or to do characters, as it were. I'm sure there's someone in your life, uh, certainly you, yeah. Ed, because you can do impressions. You have a wonderful ear and you're able to do that. Okay, so. But there's someone in everybody's life, whether it's their mother or their grandmother or their teacher oh. or the kid next door, and you can mimic that person. You do that naturally with someone that you adore or idolize. Yeah, you no. see, I'm, I'm sure I most of us can do it. Well, my Uncle Harry, and then you'll do Uncle Harry, sure. whatever, whatever he is. But um, however he sounds to you, you're able to get a pretty good Uncle Harry. That's what I do, only I take it to that nth degree. You better watch how little Mark Edward will go up imitating <laughs> you and That's all your right. characters. How better he should be a surgeon like his father. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's a doctor. He shouldn't be. He, he doesn't need show business. You're a rich business. doctor. Mama must be happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the disappointment and rejection in show business is terrible. Better he should be a surgeon like my husband. <laughs> Well, now, I don't know who that is. Yeah, you don't know. No. I don't know who I just like the, did. The, the typical mother. It just. Sounds I like guess that's what it is. Mother. It's yeah. some woman that I've heard yeah. time and we time. We can all again. identify with it. Right. Just lost my microphone. Um, does your? Oh, you lost it. My goodness. Mm -hmm. You lost yours before. I lost mine now. Yeah, no, that was too good. And, uh, now sometimes I get into. Tr did I lose mine too? No, no. no. Yeah. 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 We'll just pass a little mic around if we do lose it. I get into trouble sometimes because when I'm with friends. I have a tendency to pick up on whoever it is I'm with, especially if it's an an ethnic. And you start doing them. Person, an oh, ethnic. I do that too. We, uh, ethnic or, or see, like if they're from the south or something. Right. Oh, they have a southern accent. It's like when you go to London, you start to pick exactly. up on the. Uh, Tell me, continue to 
do this. Mm -hmm. yes. And that's what we did. The, the copy case was done in London. Everybody just talked like that. You can barely understand what he's saying. This is lovely. Talk like that. <laughs> I didn't know what the hell anyone was talking about. <laughs> but I would just sort of try. Then I worked in Puerto Rico. Uh -oh. And I worked in Puerto Rico at the El, El San Juan Hotel. <laughs> and there was, um, and I would order room service. Now, room service is notorious, very difficult to get what you want. It never comes up the way you want it, you know, when I'd order. I'd like, hello, hi, I have a show to do, and I'd like to have a hamburger with french fries, uh, a Coke, and some ketchup. Okay, don't forget the ketchup, please. Thank you very much. It would come up all wrong. Of course. <laughs> so <laughs> next time I, up. yeah, I call back and say, hello, Lisa, I want you to send me a hamburger. <laughs> and I want you to put on the, don't forget the french fries, yeah, and the ketchup. And I want you to think, with the Coca-Cola, all right, very good. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So that's what I find that people they don't say, Oh, how dare you how dare you do that? That is disgusting using my act. They don't do that. Don't what they do is they say, Hey listen, you speak Spanish? <laughs> you speak Spanish? You know, they're great at it. They understand better if I'll speak to them in their in their particular ethnic accent, yeah. whatever that is. Did you ever get yeah. a nasty comment from somebody Never, done? never, uh -huh. never, Everybody never, treats never, it as never, flattery, never. Right? No, they don't, I don't think they hear it. They hear it the way I would speak, the way they speak. Yo, they, well, do they, they, do they, they, look they, they you, understand better. But do they look at you like, for instance, Andre does caricatures. So when you do their voice, do they look at you as if you're doing a caricature of them? Or do they, do they really see it as themselves? Yeah, they say, yeah. oh, listen, man, that's uh -huh. really terrific. And you want to, uh, uh, what, what time, you know, and it, uh -huh. it's perfect. Yeah. They, it just, boom. They I just accept. Uh, now I have my, the lady who's taking care of my baby. And when I find myself doing this, and I'm sure that she knows that I'm doing it, but she's a little, a darling little Irish lady, you know. Oh, she talks, she's lovely, she's such a little darling. You know, the baby's so sweet and beautiful today and everything. In the little wee person. In the, well, I talk that way. That oh, hello, Nora, how is the baby doing today, you darling? Oh, for heaven's sakes, and Blarney. And, and, you know, Blarney. Uh, and Blarney, to you, a couple of Blarneys to you this morning. That's what I just do it naturally. Excuse us one second, we have a break here. We'll be right back with more voices and more of Marilyn Michaels and more of the show. Hi, welcome back with the, uh, to the show with Mary. Good heavens, you have everything I've ever done here. Oh, we've got your life here, Mary. Is this this is your life? <laughs> Listen, any minute, is this what's going to happen or what? Hey, if we get the camera over here, not only is this an album. Uh, that uh, features uh, Moisha Oyster, your mother Fredola, right, and yourself. But yeah. you also did the drawings. Yes, I did the cover uh, Ooh, drawing of that. I'm very proud of that. Because How old were you when you did I this? I produced. It. I did this last year. Did you? Oh. Yes, I did. And, I thought you were younger when you did. That's doing my <laughs> trick about asking ages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And anyway, and this this is another album we have, which is which is your mother and yourself. You've been talking to somebody. Yeah, I think we've been talking oh, to young Mama. Man, you're a sneaky <laughs> young fella. Yeah. Uh, Marilyn, we've, we've been having uh, Andre do yeah. your caricature. 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 And uh, he really gets right down to the nitty gritty. I the know, person. I know. He has these wonderful, so, uh, wonderful uh, drawings here. They're terrific. Uh, did you have a, we always ask him for his comment. It's, it's probably the best part of the show. He has wonderful comments. <laughs> you mean? Except for our guest. <laughs> no, no, you see, uh, this lady thinks a great deal, and she's saying in this picture, one of the toughest tasks a person can face is just to be yourself. Yes, it is. That's mm. for sure. That's, that's true. That's very really. profound. It is. I've learned a lot from her today. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. That's lovely. Yeah. Let me see it. I want to see it. I can't. Uh, oh! oh. <gasps> and then later on, we'll go have you sign it, and you can really get oh, that's oh, this great. fabulous. Yeah. Oh, I'm so full of personality, you can do it. <laughs> can we talk? Look at that. Can we talk? I mean, it's just jumping right out at you. Whoa. <laughs> Well, Any time you like, dear. Aww. Oh, thank you so much. A lot, of, a lot of times you must be just tired of always having to perform for people who do the voices. 
And this is a combination of what we're going to do here. We're going to perform for you right now. You are. Oh boy, you're going to see. Oh, gonna be right. Saying, yeah, stop laughing. We will hear. But but it's also because we want your comment. We want you to tell we us. We would like your critique on on, critique, on, right. on how well critique. we do voices. Yeah. Oh, and well, tell okay. Tell us what All we're right. doing wrong and and uh, now be honest. Really? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious. Okay. okay. You, you start. start. Go you ahead. Start first. Okay. Which one am I you doing? You have to guess who she's doing because I, for the life of me, didn't know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, wait a minute. You're supposed to help me on this one. Oh, okay. Go ahead. This yeah. This we have to get a long shot on this one. Yeah. All right. All right. You ready on this side? Go ahead. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Two. Let's start. Go ahead. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Guess who? I think is that Marilyn Monroe? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not very good. Well, okay. Yeah, but that's interesting. I wouldn't have thought of that. Oh, <laughs> That was the closest I could get to. With the hair? Oh, you don't, you don't do, do that this? With the hair? Now, this is very interesting, because in, in speaking about impressions, uh, it just happens that very often an impressionist who will learn to do an impression by not watching the actual person, but by watching another impressionist. Oh. Or watching somebody who can capture something of that individual, some essence. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't have thought about the hair at, for Marilyn done. Monroe. Oh, I'm, I'm flattered. That's yeah, great. so you're always, you're always yeah. being observant, very observant. Uh -huh. You'll pick up that one little thing that you forgot or that you didn't notice. There's always something that you didn't, that you didn't notice. Oh. Sometimes you have to just get in there and steady. That's it. Steady. Uh -huh. You have to really just listen. Yeah. Like I was a fan of the person I'm going to do. And I just, because I was a fan of hers, I could do her. I could pick up on her. See, on the, that's on the, right. right point. This is hard. He's doing Go a woman. Ahead, do now. It. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a woman. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let me get in there. I have to think about her. I have to. Okay, here we go. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get him all ready for this. Santa lady, I want a yacht and really that's not a lot. Sure. Been an angel all year, <laughs> Santa cutie. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Won't you trim my Christmas tree with some decorations, but it. Tiffany, I really do believe in you. I hope that you believe in me. Oh, Santa cutie, slip a sable under the tree for me. Mm -hmm. Been an angel all year, Santa cutie. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Hey, that's really good. <laughs> do you know what Ed likes to sing? <laughs> I do, but of course when I speak like I was a kid, I always know this guy. <laughs> but, but sometimes when she sings or she has a little hmm, you know, she sounds like a, like a munchkin. Yeah, oh, yeah, she's like a, a, a 45 going at... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, something around all these earthly kids. <laughs> well, this night, we're going to have one more each for you. This next one is real easy. Uh, oh, wait, we have to... We have to... Uh, Commercial? Oh, we're having a commercial already. And, oh and my this God. is about your yeah, shimmy about dress. my shimmy dress. I want yeah. to ask you, where where do these dresses come from? They're quite lovely. Thank you. Uh, it's from Shimmy. It's right down on 64th Street. 64. And on 3rd Avenue. And 3rd? Uh -huh. I have to drop by. Small on, and, and nice to go into, and they help you shop. They'd love to see you in there. Oh, I will go in, yeah. yeah. And there are all these shimmy kind of things, uh -huh. too. Very, very shimmery. Very uh, feminine. Yeah. Feminine. I don't like to shop in the department stores. It makes me very nervous and crazy. Well, shimmy would well, be great for you. Yeah, it is. And also, really? they'll give you a ten, uh, 5 or 10% discount. Uh, Do I hear 15? <laughs> <laughs> if you go in there, we're showing the address <laughs> on the screen right now. Um, boy, we didn't get to do all those. Uh, I was going to do, what is it? I'm a snowflake? Or? Oh, going. <laughs> oh. Snowflakes? I used to be <laughs> snow white, but then I dropped it. <laughs> okay, May West, oh, see, there you go. Very good. You know, you know what I used to use that line when a man would, I'd get embarrassed when a man would proposition me. I don't I'd know say, why. Well, a man would proposition me. I would get embarrassed, and that's what I would do. I go, mm, I don't know. I don't think about it. This is the only way I can that's get right. out of it. That's right. See, that's, a, a, that's yeah. the easiest way to get out of it. Very often you get out of it by going into. No <laughs> That's true. So anyway, well, Good. thanks for your advice oh. about uh, doing characters. What advice do you have for people out there who want to do what you do? Mm -hmm. uh, what is it that I do? I whatever it is. I don't you know do. what it is that I do. <laughs> well, I do uh, all these different things. You mean to be a performer? Yeah, to, to, to be a to, performer. Uh, <laughs> to if they want to be an impressionist, what do you suggest they, they do? Listen carefully and to watch? To do impressions yeah. and characters? Uh -huh. 
get into the character, enjoy it? No, no, I don't think that, I don't think you have to be able to do it. You have to be able to have a the really, the ability, the talent yeah. to do it. Yeah. I don't think there's any way to learn to do it. Mm -hmm. okay. That I don't think exists. Who's your favorite? To do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Marilyn Monroe, of course. Oh, okay. there we are. <laughs> and the reason I like to do it is because she's really so different from me. She's vulnerable. I like making a complete, that complete transformation, you know. Oh, it's so wonderful to do it like that. I, all those little <laughs> subtle things. I, I like doing that, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but I'm always picking up. You do Streisand up. very well, too. I love your Streisand. Oh, really? I mean, Barbara? Did you see Yentl? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the entire thing? Like, it was terrific, you know. She sings 40, 100 songs <laughs> in Yentl. But I, no, I happen to have loved that picture. Oh, I thought I, I it was great. I, I thought it was a beautiful Beautiful. I film. haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's it's just oh beautiful. I don't know, but yeah. I, I think yeah. it's just wonderful. It made me cry a lot, and that's when I know I've enjoyed it to its fullest. <laughs> <laughs> when I cry a lot. Yeah. <laughs> do you do this a lot at home? Impressions? Do you drop into them or, or uh, uh, I'm my, how your husband My husband says that I make him laugh a lot. Yeah. Oh, I that's make great. him laugh uh -huh. often. Is he an opposite person? That I'm crazy very much. Quieter? Totally different from so me. So you're mentally Yes, he's he's a surgeon and he's very reserved, very appropriate. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. We are complete opposites. Uh -huh. Where did you meet? Uh, externally, I would say we're complete opposites. Yeah. Internally, we all have the same organs. We're, we're very alike <laughs> inside. Right. Yeah. Meryl, I can't thank you enough yeah. for coming. It was a pleasure. Time. I wish you'd come back because we'd like you're to. You're a talented yeah. young man. Well, thank yes, you very much. Yes, you'll go far. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, coming we from Edith Ann, that's a compliment. <laughs> we come back and visit us? My mother told me that I could come back any time, oh. and that's the truth. <laughs> Audrey's waiting for you to sign a caricature. Yeah, let's sure. do that. Sure. Thanks for I like it here in the studio. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Yeah, we'll be back. Thank you, and have a good night. Every day.